Hey, good morning, folks. Day two down here in Smithfield, North Carolina. We ended up getting in the 15U rack. Um, I'm going to start that. I already popped the tile. They already had an extra lad over here, so I'm going to go ahead and mount the access point. Um, they got the back room opened up, so we're going to run the access point ethernet there run another ethernet cable that's going to go for the ptz i'm thinking about running that back and since um i'll leave the remote here so they can turn that on and off because yeah that's what i'm thinking i'll still run it all the way back i did decide on going with running an sdi cable that's going to be the bridge all the way back here from the sanctuary and then do another SDI cable. I need to get another SDI to HDMI converter to run the camera from here all the way back. Um, then I got to figure out what I'm going to do with the mics here. I might just take an L and order another um, S16 and let that live back here. That would be the easiest thing because then I just got to worry about having another um, shielded Ethernet cable come all the way back here. And I don't have to worry about running multiple XLRs all the way back. So that's what I'm thinking about doing. Um, they're going to pay for the difference of the rest of this project and then the phase two, pretty much everything except for the TVs. So I'll take a loss on some of the gains that I'll make from that. And I'll probably buy the the second S16 and a 200 foot uh, shielded uh, Cat 5E cable. And that's what will bridge here. And then I don't have to worry about um, XLRs and all that other stuff. But anyway, let's go ahead and assemble this and try and eat my breakfast before it gets cold. Um, hang the access point, do everything that we can do in here for right now. And then we're gonna go up in the attic because there's actually steps over there and walk up here to see, get the lay of the land and find how the cable is actually going back into the sanctuary. All right, I got the new rack assembled, everything moved over. The other rack I actually have moved over in the back there. So I've remembered to bring my hammer drill. So with this out of the way, we're going ahead and punch this um, hole in the wall so we can run the cable from the Starlink inside the sanctuary. All righty, we got through. There were multiple layers of different walls there, but we got through. Hopefully that cable is, that hole is big enough. If not, well, we'll just deal with whatever. Let's try and run that cable through. All right, time has actually gotten away from me and I haven't even gone up in the ceiling at all. So what I'm gonna do is move this ladder back and um, take that camera down and then make my way up into the ceiling because most likely we got to run these cables inside the wall honestly I'd rather not do that I'd rather just run conduit all the way around and get to there but going straight up and then getting down there is actually easier but we got to see what that path is let me go ahead and take this camera down first no I need to go up in the ceiling first and see what we're working with first. All righty, access point hung. Got a whole bunch of other cables in the ceiling. Got a cable for the security camera outside for the soffit. I might actually go do that now. Um, have to climb back up and run the two cables for the TVs here. I need to run another SDI cable for the camera that's going to be back there, but I need to figure out how to find the other act to get over into the other part of the church. All right, I am dragging today, but we moved everything over here. We got it connected. This is the internet cable that's still on the floor. <clears throat> that's the access point. This is for the... POE switch that I've decided that it's going to be powered here and I'll just leave the remote so they turn it on and off when it's needed over here 
this is going to the to the soffit for the security camera outside i may try and just do that so i can have one camera up and then i'm here to grab the ladder to try and get up into the ceiling going into the sanctuary um because i pulled this other coax cable here i pushed it through the wall i need to find where that is it obviously does have a path <coughs> excuse me because um they had cable in the old camera coming all the way back here so let's try and do that and then <clears throat> then i'll come back and try and do at least put up one security camera for right now all right so i'm here in the ceiling of the women's bathroom and there's the eaves that I'm thinking about moving the Starlink to. So I could run. Um, I do have a little bit of outdoor cable, so I could run it here and then just run regular cable all the way in this distance. But I might have to move my ladder here because I'm not feeling too confident in getting up here. But oh well. All right, one of many cables to go. I found the path to the room back there, so I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the snake and run that cable as well. Wow, I'm up there. And this is the cable for the access point, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave some slack here, terminate this and have this plugged in. We'll plug it into one of those front jacks right there. So that will be fine. Plug it into maybe like that second one. Alrighty, got the Ethercon cable pulled all the way here, as well as in the room. Hopefully I got enough slack to plug it in. If not, I have to get a small Ethercon coupler or something like that. Hopefully it's long enough. Let's see. All right, so. Yeah, it is long enough because this is going to sit up on that rack most likely. So, oh, let's get this all connected and get sound back in here. All right, that's connected. Let's turn it on. Looking for a solid light, and there we go. We got a connection. So that's one cable out of the off the floor. Um. I pushed some other cables over as well. Um, that's going to replace this one. I got it all the way back there. And I got it here. But I got a... It looks like they ran the cables that joined these two parts of the building. They have it pushed through a conduit. So if I can at least get the cable to like over here, then I should be able to just push it over the tiles and that will replace this cable <sighs> but what i really want to do right now is you see you see right there i still haven't eaten my breakfast as usual um what i'm gonna do oh uh, also there was an rg6 cable already in the ceiling so hopefully if i can find the path to get it over here as well too. I will just connect that to my cable and that will be the bridge that links the video and audio from there down here. But I am going to first put the Ori in that closet, get the ladder back here, and we're gonna hang one of the cameras. All right, that's one of 13. All righty, we got power. On the one back here. Let me, I don't have a video connection back there to that camera, but let me at least um, remote in, set the IP address, and flip the image and get it set up on the joystick.
And I can't remember if I showed this video or not, but you see we are punched through. Um, we are going to tack this down. But again, temporarily, I don't know if it's going to stay here. Internet is fine. Um, but like I said, I found the access to get up there. And actually, I am going to move it. I don't know why in the world. Well, now that I think about it, I wonder if I'm going to be able to get there with my ladder. We run the cable through there. And, I mean, I get into the ceiling. So, technically, I can get there. But then that was a waste of time to even punch through the wall then. I might just leave it there. Because I didn't know the path from here. I didn't know how easy that was going to be. If I do do that, then we need to seal that up with some, some mortar. And then we just run it through the ceiling and drop it down. <sighs> oh, well. Hey, good morning, folks. AJ here, day three. Um, because of the changes here, uh, we went from a phase one to um, combining multi those multiple phases. I don't have everything that I need to finish that. So instead of having an incomplete product, what the main focus today is to get this cable up in the ceiling, find a way to bridge to where we're at over here. Um, I have to open up the wall behind where the piano is so that I can run a connections from the keyboards and the bass. And I ordered another direct box so that I can plug them into the sound system so that they will be in the house. And then um, also figure, once I get this path, extend this cable that's going to be to the camera that will go all the way back, find where the other coax that I left up here, extend that, and that goes all the way back to the media booth as well. <clears throat> and then try and um, run the cables for the PTZ the only PTZ that's mounted in the sanctuary, get those cables inside the wall so that I can run those up and over and pretty much just make the sanctuary back into a place so that everybody can actually use the sanctuary and I don't have a mess around here. And um, pretty much do have a lot of stuff that's left over that we're gonna be working on. But um, the other thing is I'm shutting down the system right now because <clears throat> all of the stuff that I ordered from Amazon that was supposed to have been delivered yesterday got pushed back again. So that kind of messed up my whole plan about everything. But what I'm doing is the um, I have a, a UPS. That's what I'm going to put down here. And this was the actual extra UPS that I had that I didn't use. Um, I'm going to put that, and that's what's going to power the um, Unify stuff as well as the Starlink stuff. So that will always stay on, and then I can switch everything back to just using the switch to power on the system. So let me grab that out of the car. We need to also figure out, are there any firewalls in here? If not, um, I need to drill a hole up there. Um, at the seal plate there so I can drop the cables down and then run the cables to that camera. Um, that's what we got going on. And then, like I said, it's just rinse and repeat, cleaning up this stuff and getting it up out of the way. Um, I got all these cables and stuff for the other speakers. We are going to go with passive speakers. So those would go flanking either side. Those cables need to go up in the ceiling. I'll probably take them up and just leave them up there relative close to where they need to go because they're going to run back to where the snake is. Um, so I don't have to run about that. We're actually going to do an SD8 smaller snake. That's going to live in the Fellowship Hall and then need to run another Ethernet cable. I don't need to come all the way from back here. I can go from the um, where the current snake is and daisy chain off of that to get back there. That way I have more plugins for those mics and everything back there 
and I need to remember where I put the ladder. I don't remember. But the whole goal is to hopefully, because there's a speaker here, so the cable's got to be here. Hopefully, if I can find where this is and at least see here, I can run all my cables here, pull my cables that I have from the women's bathroom to back here, and this is where I'll join it, and hopefully I can get from here into this section, and then we'll be good to go. And I need to find where this ladder is. Oh, it's right there. Um, and then we'll go from there. All right, folks, so I got the UPS put up, and we're going to make a little change because there are two firewalls in the wall right there so I ran the cable up we're gonna do a 90 degree conduit going straight across parallel to the ground and then perpendicular up I gotta go back to Lowe's to do that but I've already climbed back up fish that over into the corner pull up all the extra um, fiber optic HDMI to live up there we'll velcro that all the extra and then um, while up there trying to find the other path from the bathroom. So that's what we're heading up to do now. Oh, all right. Got the cable ran, but the original hole that I had is not big enough. So that's what I got. My hole saw. So we can hopefully make this hole big enough for all the other future cables we got to do. And we will, we will need to come back up here, but hopefully not that many more times. Uh, ow, hit me, hit. Uh. all right, so here in this part of the sanctuary, this is the hallway, and let's get over here. Being mindful of my step here, some electrical lines here. Get past that. All right. Now we are heading down the center of the sanctuary. Let me get my other flashlight here. Give it a little bit more light. So these white cables were coax cables that I was saying that I could probably use these look like rg6 and they were already there so i pushed one through to the hole all right and i don't know if you can see that or not but right there is where the access point was that's the cable to the old camera that was there that is an rg59 so i couldn't use that um, the copper is not thick enough for 1080p at 60 frames a second. All right, so now, right here, we are on the back wall. The black and white cable right there are my cables, the HDMI. We come around this corner here. Make sure I step in on a joist here, and then all the cables. I'll route it over there. So um, it's going to be kind of muffled what you hear, but I need to shimmy over there and widen this hole over there. Oh. Come on. So I'm just going to expand the hole that I made so that all the other cables can actually go through it.
careful not to damage the existing cables. All right, more than enough. Now feed the HDMI cable the camera here. And we probably will need to come back up here so I can get all of the extra HDMI cable up here. And then once all of our cables are done, that's when we will tack them down, probably put them in a sleeved conduit so that they're all together, up and out of the way. But that should be it outside of me pulling this cable up here. Uh, and I had the magnet thinking it would stop this from swinging. All right. <sighs> now the next thing we need to do is try, we have to open up some holes that thankfully they already have a path. I just got to widen the hole so I can run the SDI cable from the PTZ, which is going to have us come all the way back here, which makes me think Let's look at this cable here. I think this is RG6. So we could repurpose this for the camera. But again, it's not that essential to get that done. But seeing how we were able to get this cable up since they f said it was fine to do conduit instead of going through the wall, we saved ourselves some time. So we may have the time to do the rest of these cables. So let me get to a more stable place that I can stand without holding on to the roof. So over there is where some of these cables going. So this white cable is the one that I am basing my path off of because that is what's feeding the one speaker in the hallway. So let me set that down over there. Get that when I come back. So, trying to find where that white cable is going. So see, it's going through, going through that ceiling there. So I'm gonna need to open up something. When I'm hoping, see the the women's bathroom is right over here. So if I can find a way to get my cables over to the women's bathroom ceiling then I don't have to go too far and it's an easier path for all of my cables so let me turn this off so I can get up out of here and then we'll go from there all right that actually went better than I thought I was able to pull up everything in there and I left enough slack so that I can do the conduit when we get it. I need to put a washer on there because that's kind of loose. But we got that. This old white cable is the one I left outside. I might be able to repurpose that to run the rest of the length for the internet back that way. Um, let's terminate this stuff first which would be right here. And we do have plenty of slack because we need to, I have some grommets that were gonna come in 
again not coming in until today now but we're going to open this up and all of these cables are going to come up and under and then come up to here so thankfully we do have enough slack so that they will run this way and as you can see we have our normal tp link wireless switch that we have hooked up with a plug this is what's going to allow us to turn on the snake back there remotely um, and turn everything on and off including the second snake that we're going to end up getting for the fellowship hall all right so let me terminate the ethernet cable put it in its final place here which is going to be right there so that it's connecting to the poe switch that turns on and off and then this camera's done yay all righty that's done oh, i'm tired I'm gonna make a Google account for them um, and then set up a TP Link account and put all of this on there, which will also be on the iPad or tablet, Samsung tablet, whichever one we decide to go with. So that will be the backup to control this outside of this switch. And that way I'm not, in res I don't own it. It's gonna be linked to the account on the computer. Alrighty, folks, we got a mess, but we got our cables from here. And all the way through to here, this is the cable that I had pulled originally. Um, I could connect this and this could be the one for the camera, but this is going to be the main feed that goes to the HDMI splitter here. This is the side that's pulled. I got to terminate those other two up in the ceiling one more time because um, the cable wasn't long enough to get all the way back there. So once I terminate them up in the ceiling, that part is done. I got all this extra ethernet that I need to pull, which should take me all the way to the booth. So I'm gonna terminate these two ends, close this up. Um, and I really shouldn't close it up. I still need to run the PTZ feed up and around this corner. But what I'm hoping is when I walk up there, I'll be able to grab that cable and pull it up and pull it around here as far as I can. And then I have another 100 foot cable that I'll just push this all the way through the feeds. And I guess I shouldn't have closed up the tiles <laughs> right there, but I got this side open. Push that cable all the way through up there, climb back up, run it all the way down there, push that one down. And then the PTZ will be connected as well. And then this Ethernet cable, I can cut that. And all the cables that I had originally on the floor are now up in the ceiling. All right, so I got all the cables pulled. And we have two SDI cables. This is the one that was there. This is the other one that goes all the way to the PTZ. I need another HDMI cable, but I hooked up everything in the fellowship hall. I'm gonna see if we get an image. So let's go down that way. So the mindset is that an HDMI splitter lives in the sanctuary to feed into the televisions in the sanctuary, the two in the front, one in the back. But then the feed will be another splitter is back here so that we don't have to run cables a very long distance. All right, so I plugged it into HDMI number two so let's see if we get a signal again this tv ultimately would be replaced so it's not picking all right there's hdmi number two and let's see it says no signal now i wonder so it's only two hdmis Now I'm wondering, it could be that the TV is 720p, and that would be a reason why we wouldn't get anything. But see, we look here, see we're not getting a signal here. All right, so we have to test this out, and that's the best way to check. You see right here, if that light was on, we would be getting a signal, but we're not. We are getting the signal here for power and that the TV is connected. And if we look here, 
you can see that the light is on. So it is picking up the TV. So it's something to do with the, um, the SDI cable that we ran. So it could be the terminations that are coupled in between, or it could be that the existing piece of cable would need to be replaced. And because the PTZ, I ran one continuous run. So let's go see what that could be. What I'll do is switch this out real quick and see if I get a signal on the PTC. So let me take this out and then we will connect two, three, four. And connect that to the other end here. All right, so I'm not getting nothing on here either. Wait a minute. I didn't turn that. That joystick is not on. I mean, that camera is not on. Um, all right, let me turn that camera on because I forgot we have that on on the other side. Oh, I hope I don't have to go pull another cable. All righty. I need to change the joystick so button number six will turn the camera on and off. I didn't have that. So back there, I had to physically turn the PTZ on. And I feel that probably... The cable that was up there, that might be the problem. But, boom, there we go. So I just need to remote in and flip that upside down, which I thought I saved that. But either way, we flipped that upside down, and that camera is good to go. Alrighty, so what I have left, I've started to clear out all the old stuff that's not connected anymore. Punch through, that's right where the keyboards are, keyboards and the base. And I need to run a feed into here for coming out from the drums and from the keyboards. I'm going to widen that up and then put all of the amps inside of here. Everything on top of that is not going to stay here. And really, I should move the wireless inside the sanctuary because they'll have a much better reception in there than it is back here. All right, we got everything in here. Now, this is not its final position. This is actually going to set on the shelf, but some of the cables are not long enough to get there. So I just rolled it in there for right now. And again, it might even be that I extend this and it stays on the floor and it might just do that. It's just that a couple of the speaker wires, the gray ones are not long enough for me to pull the amps down here. Um, and I do have a whole bunch of extra speaker cable, but I left it in my garage, um, left over from TCF. So next time when I come down here, I'll know to extend that, but we do have the pass throughs right there. I didn't put the plate on this side. Um, we'll do that once we finalize everything, but, now that we got everything on, I need to change up the wiring on how, I mean the routing, so that we can get sound through here. And I'm going to reposition the mics to be back there. So it's a better line of sight and frequency and all that other good stuff. <sighs> all right, we got the switches finally connected. And again, like I said, this is temporary. That's going to go in there ultimately. Um, I have a brushed pass-through plate that all those cables will um, sit nicely and go through the rack. So this whole thing can slide up under there. We get rid of all the old stuff. But we do have everything set up now. Now, one other thing is the wireless mics I moved to the back, but we do not have enough why is that door sticking? We don't have enough um, XLR cables. 
I will be ordering some more, but let them know that for Sunday, the pastor's wireless mic is hooked up, but it looks like the antenna was damaged. So it is very, very bad. But all of the other mics I do have working. Moving the manual back here. But we got everything connected and hooked up. So now we should have sound. Let me, let me play some of me. That way won't get in the trouble. All right, let's rewind that a little bit. So we got it coming through the live stream. Let's go ahead and turn that down. We got it going through the house. We also have them going through the monitors. So that's the monitors. This is the house. See, very, very low in comparison. So that's the house. Those are the ceiling speakers that will be replaced our next visit. But then let's turn that down. And then let's go to the pulpit. And then go to the live stream. All right, so we got all that done. And now that I got everything up, and we got everything labeled seven and eight. Actually, seven is the bottom. I think this is going to be for guitar. So that's what I have it labeled for. So guitar. All right, so we got that done. Um, don't have anything to plug in. Um, we're also going to plug in. I need to get a longer XLR cable. We're going to connect the drums in as well, too. Um, don't have enough to do that right now, but let's go ahead and get our mixes straight. So everything should be good to go. So now if I go to the pulpit and let's go through the mics, and let this not make me a liar because we did test everything and everything was working. That's how we labeled it. Now I wonder, is that the one? No, it's there. It's just really, really low. Tuss, 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 tuss. Yeah, this is really low. We got to turn that up. Uh, choir left. Pulpit, choir right, and let me actually plug in the keys into this one for right now. Not the right place where I should plug into. I made my own mistake. Oh, it doesn't have an option. That's the only option you got. Ugh. All right. So we got the keys. All right, let's turn keys two. All right, let's see. Let's see if we can do a little damage on here. All right, so that's for bass. I don't have a way to hold this. So you can actually see. Let me prop it up right over here. Yep, come on. There we go. So let's try. That's bass.
All right, so we got that, yay. <laughs> so even though it's labeled keys, I mean, it's a labeled guitar, it is plugged into the system. I'm gonna throw them off when that happens. Um, what else, what else we got? We need to turn up the podium. And ultimately what I'm also gonna do is the switch, I need to move, I moved the mics back here. And like I said, I don't have enough XLRs for this. I think they were only doing a mix out. When we do this, it's actually gonna give us all the channels um, when we hook this up to control all of them. So let me switch it around. So that's the podium. And probably these need some new, probably need some new mics because I shouldn't have to turn that that high. But let's try one more time, one more again. Oops. Test, test. Oh. Test, test. So, I mean, it's, it's there. I shouldn't have to be all up on it like this, but let's turn it up just a little bit more, which I don't want to do, but we're good. I mean, the camera's working. No one's going to see it except for people back here. So, I mean, the good thing is this is a phase one. They've already, they literally just paid me today for a phase two. We also have the Bluetooth here that I haven't even, you know, got configured and turned on and none of that stuff. But I mean, that's fine. We'll, we'll approach that when we come back. My conduit should be here today. So when we come back, all of this will be in a server rack um, conduit that's going to come straight down here. Keep all these cables in here re-extend well actually i bought another 100 feet i've replaced this and run my extra x um rg6 here so that should solve the issue of power um i think i think that's almost everything um i have this is actually from tc um tcf all of these are going to be powered by the TV, but this is the one I have. I ordered ones with a power cable, so I'm just gonna take the power cable out of that, bring it here, and then that will be connected down here. So when the whole thing turns on, that's how it goes. That powers this off. And I think we're good to go. Like I said, we got the sanctuary there. Oh, I, I set up a um, Gmail account for them. Um, so, and I'm going ahead and making all of the accounts under them. So I'm going to go ahead and set up um, presenter, get their account set up, and then give them a call, pack up my car, eat my breakfast that, again, I did not eat. Um, and then I think that is about it. I, I They have a a play or something like that is supposed to be going on. So that's why I was asking to make sure somebody's going to be here so I can run through how they're going to use the sound system because we aren't going to do training yet for controlling everything. But now that this is how everything is, they need to know how to use this because this is how their sound is going to be done. So um, hopefully somebody will be here. I need to get on the road by five to get back. I actually have to do a career day at my daughter's school tomorrow. And we're going to be talking about being a YouTuber and a business owner. So that's going to be fun. Um, and that's around like at 8.30, so I got to make my presentation and pack my gear up. But I think that is about it. Um, not fully what I wanted to do in phase one, but it changed. Because um, mainly it was to run the wires for everything, and then a phase two is going to be later on. But while I was in the middle of phase one, they're like, let's go with phase two. So the rest of the external cameras have not been done. We still have five more cameras to put outside, and then we're gonna put another seven inside here for the common areas um, for security. And we have two more cameras, the one that's gonna go up there in the front, then one on the side, then the new speakers, the TV mounts, the ceiling TV mounts, running the wires for all of those. <laughs> 
the stuff downstairs. So um, we got a bit. So once this um, comes through, I'm going to go ahead and order all that stuff. And then we'll be back. I don't know when. Um, might be the third week in April, to be quite honest. I don't got to give enough time for the stuff to come in. But anyway, um, link is down below for everything. If you ever need any help, folks, know you can call um, contact me at ajhomes.com slash consultations. Give me 40. I mean, that's my schedule. As you can see, um, you know, you can set up all this other stuff online. You, that's my schedule. And I've been intentionally ignoring my phone just because when I'm doing stuff like this, I can't answer the phone. And I'm trying to just push everybody to the website because that's the whole reason for it. And that has the most accurate, up-to-date, what's going on with my calendar. So um, that's about it. Link is down below to everything we used here. And I hope you enjoyed this. And we'll be back for a phase two and three. And we <laughs> merge it all together where we put the mounts because they're going to get the TVs. So we're just going to have mounts hanging from up there, one in the back. And then um, one in the fellowship hall and then security cameras and all that other fun stuff. And we may move to Starlink. Starlink is working fine now. Um, we got to secure it outside, but that's about it. So anyway, folks, this is AJ. We'll catch you on the next video. Later.